In this video, I'm going to be breaking down Henry versus Noah in what I would say is probably the most important MCS game that we've ever seen. So let's just jump right in here. If you're new to the channel, we do videos like this every single day. I think that it's really important as a Madden player to learn from other people. Um, and so that's why we do eBooks. That's also why we learn from people like Henry Noah. Um, Henry has fi over $500,000 in career earnings. And I believe that this is only his third year playing competitive Madden um, in, in tournaments. He's qualified for every live event that he's ever tried to qualify for. Uh, I think he's 11 for 11, I want to say. And this is um, what I would say is a legacy game. Noah has two belts. Henry has two belts and a team belt. The team belt kind of has uh, historically had an asterisk uh, next to it, although it is a belt nonetheless. He is a three-time belt winner. But this right here is who's going to be the first person to three individual belts, Henry versus Noah. Now, if you watch the game, you already know the outcome, but I wanted to break down some of the film and some of the takeaways from this this game that I think have really helped me become a better Madden player and probably can help you as well um, become a better Madden player. Again, if you're looking to get better in the game, you can get all my ebooks by joining the Patreon. We're dropping a brand new defensive ebook today um, as well. So make sure you're in there. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, get you access to that. We also do film rooms on the majority of our ebooks to actually show you how to run them in a game. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, linked down in the description. But here you see some of his uh, pedigree here. I mean, just absolutely incredible uh, what he's been able to do. But let's just get on the field and get in the game. So he is in Washington on offense, and I believe Kansas City on defense. Noah is in Kansas City on defense. And I want to say he's in New England, but I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what he's in in offense. So we'll have to take a look here. So here, Henry going to tight with the quick base. Um, and then he looks like he's going to audible, flip the play. I think he's honestly just trying to get on a hash. Um, and you see here, Noah's able to block the or block up the run. Real quick, if you're running the ball and you have a right-handed quarterback, in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense to run the ball with the running back on the right side because you're going to get a better handoff animation. But here he's going to go to verticals. Now, this is ironic because this is one of the best plays for Madden 23. It's also one of the best plays by Madden 22, specifically against zone. Noah runs a lot of zone, and he's running DB Fire 2 basically for the majority of this game. So what you're going to see is he's going to try to be working the seams against this. He's got this running back on a streak. He's got the crosser that's going to kind of hit right in here. And then he's got this tight end wheel coming in here. So we'll see here, snap, really good pressure, but he is able to hit that tight end wheel. Um, obviously, those are still good against zone. Um, it's just if you man them up this year, they're not as powerful as they were last year. So uh, first and 10, ball in the 40. He's going to go season so clear out. Uh, I think he's trying to look for a beater here. Let's see route to Moss. Let's see what he runs here. Nope, a little drag. Goes a C route high low. Honestly, I don't know why. I had to have had a cover two beater out of clear out. Clear out is one of the most powerful bomb plays year in and year out. Go blocking the running back. Notice Henry's pass protection. Majority of the time will revolve around blocking this running back right here. Um, now, let's see here. This is. So you go into bunch trail. I've not seen this a lot where you've got this trail route, but then you're going to bring a backside in route, which is actually a really good setup. So he's got a streak here. He's got a C route here. And then he's looking to work Noah's user with this trail route and this drag. Really, the primary is probably the C route um, if he can hit that. But he is able to take that quick drag. Really like that a lot. Um, great little quick hitting plays. Notice the offense that Henry's going to run, which I actually really like is quick dots quick hitting plays to beat ble beat the blitz um he's not gonna like try to develop a lot of big deep down the field developing routes um this is gonna be bench i believe uh bench with a running back so okay so third and two here i think what he meant to do and i could be wrong but i think he meant to motion snap this guy out a little bit to get a little bit better spacing but i think he ran out of time uh, but he's got a drag here coming from this slot He's got a little baby in route. And then on the back side here, he's running bench. So he's got an out route. He's got a deep corner. And then he's got a streak. Um, and he sends five out on third and two. Um, surprised that Noah didn't send the dogs. Uh, but what you see here is he's really looking to hit this corner. 
uh, especially if Noah's in cover two, which I believe here, you'll see right there, right here, you see this guy running to the inside. The running back streak is gonna pull this up the seam and it's gonna leave this little window right here where he's gonna be able to take that corner route against that coverage. Really nice little play. Again, I think he meant to motion snap that in route out a little bit um, just to kind of give it a little better spacing over the middle. Uh, but I think he honestly ran out of time. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I see in that. It's what I would have done anyway. Um, so here he's going back to Bunch Trail, um, and he's got two outside apprentices. This guy right here has outside apprentice. This guy right here has outside apprentice. This motion out C route, uh, I actually haven't seen this a lot out of Bunch players, uh, but this is something that he's going to go to. This little wheel to the running back is kind of, um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this will pull a deep, I know it'll pull a deep half. I'm not sure if it'll pull a third. It probably will. But basically, we're looking to the C routes here, and then this is essentially the high-low over the middle between the streak and the trail route. So first and 10, ball on the 26, right? He's running short side bunch. That's another thing to note. So he's going to bring this guy back inside a little bit here, look to the C route, and there he kind of stepped up into a sack. It's kind of hard. If that nose tackle gets good penetration on dollar, it makes dollar really, really powerful because it's hard to step up now if that guy right there could be pretty solid so second and 15 ball to 31 again short side bunch for henry he's going to motion the tight end over on a slant here um, or a little baby in route here he had the c route right there not sure i mean it's, he still had the wheel route just made a bad throw so that brings up third and 15 so at this point right here noah's got to be feeling good about his defense um honestly henry uh i mean both times had the one time he went to like a more deep hitting concept, he kind of like got bad. But other than that, he's had stuff every play here. So um, here we're going with a streak and, and C route, looking for the C route probably again. And there's the pressure and not able to get time. And he's going to miss the kick. So uh, in the interview that I think Dubby did with Henry, he just basically wasn't paying attention. Uh, and honestly, like, if there's ever one one critique of Henry is that sometimes he can get a little lackadaisical. This guy is so seasoned. One thing I did want to bring up out of the interview that Dubby did, if you want to check it out, Need It Podcast, uh, Dub Dot, I'm sure you guys are aware of that, but that's a great place to uh, just kind of get connected with some of the better Madden players in the community, listen to what their thoughts are on the game. He does it every week. Um, every I want to say it's every Thursday, but I, or, uh, I, I don't know what day it is. Maybe Tuesdays. Probably Tuesdays. Uh, but anyways... You can check it out, twitch.tv slash dubdot if you want to check that out. But here we see Noah coming out in the run game. So Henry's coming out of Nick and Normal. Nick and Normal, in my opinion, is the best run defense in the game right now, spreading the defensive line, pinching the linebackers. We have that in our Nickel Over ebook. Uh, and Noah actually breaks a pretty good run here. And you're going to see this little battle. Now, when Henry was talking about, uh, again, about the field goal for just a second, uh, in the interview, he was talking with Dubby, and he basically said, like, I play so many head-to-head -head games. Like, the way that Henry labs, the way that Henry gets better, one of the ways is he plays a lot of all Madden seasons head-to-head. -head, right? Something that all of us can do. We can all play all Madden head-to-head -head seasons. We don't have to have a lab uh, unit team to do that to get better so if you want to get better that's one of the ways to do that uh, but here you're noticing he's going to this nickel over defense um, and he did also say in that interview that sometimes you know he can get a little lackadaisical uh, and, and we saw that with the kick he just kind of was thinking he you know was automatic and he wasn't really paying attention to the, how far away he was and he ended up missing it so um, obviously a big deal Noah one is a runner, and this is the biggest difference between the two. Henry's going to pass the ball the majority of the plays. Noah's going to run the ball the majority of the plays. He's trying to find a run. He will audible around all over the place trying to find a run that will break your run defense. As you see here, going to a counter. Honestly, like, he broke it. Um, I don't know. I feel like Henry still was in solid defense, uh, but, but he was able to break it. So now... 7-0, it should be 7-3, but 7-0. And now Henry's in a bad spot because Noah gets ball at a half. Here he's going to, I want to say, drive corner. Uh, and I didn't love the route combo. He did hit the running back table route. Um, I just didn't love that call. I feel like Noah, I feel like what you're seeing here again is like, sometimes I think Henry can has a tendency, this is my opinion, again, best player, my opinion, the best player ever. Um, I really believe the last three years he's proven that he is the best Madden player that's ever played uh, Madden, uh, especially in the MCS era. But 
the one issue is sometimes I think he can almost, he knows so much about the game, he can almost outsmart himself. All right, he can almost outsmart himself in the course of a game. Um, and I think he did that some in this game. But anyways, here, this is a great route combination. He's got a little tight end zig for man. He's got this streak that's going to clear out this, uh, this C route, but it's also going to clear the safety out here so that he can hit this backside post right in here, okay? So really, really like this route combo here. Noah is running a lot of cover too. He has the C route right here, but he is able to hit that seam streak. And that's got to be a lab seam streak, but really good throw. Um, you'll notice Noah's in cover two the majority of the game. He has that C right on the left side a lot this game. He really does. Going now, here we're back. And this is his main zone beater. It really is. His main play is this streak. So he's got that there. Noah mans up the streak. He throws it away. Good job. Good adjustment by Noah. Uh, Henry wants to call verticals. Noah's doing a pretty good job, as he did last year. If you actually go back and watch the film from the Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament, he did the same thing to, to him last year against that specific setup. So here, Henry uh, coming backside here, still trying to stay with verticals, not able to hit it, throws the ball out of bounds. Henry's ba base zone beater is verticals out of bunch. Noah has always shown a pretty decent ability to handle that play. And now we're trying to no, now Henry has to go to his second play, which is probably going to be this setup he's about to go to right here with the C route and the streak. And you see here, here's that boom. And then he's got that C route right there. Now Noah might have been able to click on because he's and it was a little late on the read, I think. And Noah might have been able to click on and make a play on that. End up not doing that and um, and ends up giving up seven. So big time drive, big time answer back drive from Henry. Notice his adjustment to the counter here. Um, he's gonna shift this line across here to give him a little bit better, better protection. And now you see the counter is bagged for one yard. Again, Noah wants to find a run. I don't even, I'm not even sure if Noah's passed the ball yet in this game. Uh, and we're almost to halftime. He wants to find a run. He's in an audible round to try to find a run. Henry knows that. That's why he's in nickel normal. For the majority of this tournament, he was running, I believe, the 3-3 loop. But against Noah, he's going to run nickel normal because he knows the importance. Now, this is actually a really good route combination. we got this quick out here. Um, he's blocking his running back, trying to pick up some pressure. he got a C route on the left side. Um, and then I think he ends up not liking it and calls a timeout. That's a really good little route combination. Uh, from Noah to try to beat man. He knows Henry's gonna play man. Man is the meta. Henry's gonna do the most effective thing right now, which is to play man coverage. And he's gonna blitz Noah because why? Noah's not regarded as one of the best offensive players ever, right? It's why he likes to run the ball. It's why he's a game, to a degree, a game manager, if you will, when he plays. Um, because he, 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 he basically, Noah, the way Noah plays is, he relies on his defense, and he doesn't want to make mistakes. That's the biggest thing. So what Henry's trying to do is say, okay, I'm going to be a little bit more basic defensively, and I'm going to play a little bit more man coverage to try to fo force you to have to work a little bit more on offense, right? So he's going to play great run defense, play man coverage, and see what he can do. And here he actually does check into a zone call. Um, not really sure why, but I'm assuming it's I, I'm assuming um, it's because he knew that Noah was anticipating man, so he's going to change it up a zone. And now Henry's right back in control here, um, and Noah should have to pump this ball. And now Henry has an opportunity to go up by one possession into halftime, even though he's had he had a really bad start. Right, he recovered well from a bad start. And um, and now, and this is something else that was said in the interview uh, with Dubby. Henry believes that it's a four-quarter game, right? So he's going to keep working through these things over the course of the game. A lot of people, myself included, if you have that bad start, you can get a little bit nervous. You can start to have like make a lot more mistakes, which is going to cause you even more problems down the road. Here he's going to go to bench um, bench switch. So. Why would you call bench switch? Bench sw bench has the corner routes from the inside, guys. Bench switch is just switched, right? So it's got these guys on the out corners, and these guys are on the outs. I believe that Henry is going to this because of how much cover two Noah's calling. So he's going to try to streak this guy to clear out the zone, and then he's going to have this corner for cover two. And then on the backside, we should see a drag and some kind of like backside curl or something like that. So you see here, yep, backside backside slant and he's able to hit that little underneath drag. 
Henry does a really good job too. If you watch this game, he takes when he's when he's best on offense. You'll notice he's taking quick reads. He's not waiting for the deep cross or the deep corner. He's making a quick, decisive read and throwing the ball. Like right here, the running back. Boom. And it's out. Especially due to the fact that Noah is playing zone. Zone is actually not a bad way to play in Madden 23. Because it, because of how good the pass rush is. And because of how good the pressure is. Zone forces you to take the underneath. And... If Henry's smart here, he'll continue to do that on this drive. So again, you'll notice every every when he looks really good on offense, it's because he's taking these quick reads. So here we go. Uh, love this concept. We've got a sh this is this was probably one of the more popular route combinations in the game. We've got the C route on the left side for man or cover two. This running back's on that wheel, so they have to handle that. And then they've got this little drag coming over here. So if they run over here, then they have this little pocket right here to throw this drag. And then on the back side, we have a streak to clear out any zone. And we have a post coming in the middle right here. So this is a great route combination. One of the better ones we saw out of the ultimate out of this tournament. And you'll see, notice right here, he's got the running back right here. Doesn't hit him, but he does hit this drag. So you see here, running back was open. Everything was really open here. I mean, he had a lot of opportunity to hit stuff. Really, really great combo. He's able to get out and get himself by and large closer to field goal range. And I mean, he's doing really well, doing really well. Again, he his two incompletions, I think, has been times where he's almost made the game harder than it's had to be for him. Um, goes to this counter run. Uh, this was actually a very popular call against a lot of the meta defenses. No, you saw Noah run a counter. Uh, counter runs, to me, seem to be the main way that pros want to uh, use the run game, either counters or 0-1 traps or quick bases. But you see he's going to go right back to this concept here. Okay, right back to the concept. There's the blitz. No, no. And, and right there, that could have been an interception. So he makes a late read on the wheel. He makes a late read on the wheel here. Like right here, this ball should be out. Right here. Now Noah is lurking the drag really well. So you'll see here, he's here and he's going to want to jump down here. Pressure's coming in right at the right time because Henry really probably wants to hit this. This post. But he doesn't have time to because of the pressure, right? So he's got to get the ball. I mean, the C route's wide open too, by the way. C route is wide open. Um, and I mean, you see here, see now, see how Noah's now coming back on this drag. This guy's running open. He's got a lot of stuff open, but he ends up making a mental mistake and it, uh, it didn't cost him. It didn't cost him. Uh, and he might've labbed a way to throw that against that. And, and maybe that was a good read, but it didn't come off like that. It, it did come off like Noah probably, Noah was in the right spot. Just couldn't get the interception there. Uh, and again, he had a lot of other stuff open. He should go right back to the play. So you see here, he's going to go right back to the same basic thing. A little bit of a nuance now. And he's going to hit that seam streak to tight end. Deep out zone KO. Really good in your safeties. If you are running a cover two style of defense, put deep out zone, zone KO on your safeties. And they will make a lot more plays as you see in this, as you see Noah's guys were able to do here. Um, but you see here, Henry's starting to kind of come back into this mesh post play. Um, and I think now he's going to change it up and go to verticals because he's anticipating a heavy blitz. So he's going to have that running back there. I don't love this route combo, but it does work for him. You see here the dig. Yeah. I think he was, I don't know if he's anticipating man or what, but, but anyway, he, he gets it done, hits the dig. Um, you know, really the, the, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I also don't know why Noah didn't work. I guess it. I guess it was just like he wasn't expecting him to have a backside in route, but there's the counter running fifth ball to 15. He's got three timeouts, plenty of time here, 30 seconds. Kind of wants to make sure Noah doesn't have a great opportunity, but if you can get seven, you're going to take seven. Here's this little curl out of the backfield, a uh, little block and release curl route. Good route by, by Henry there. I think he just wanted to quick snap him, and that was why he went no huddle and called verticals basically stock with a streak. Um, he runs verticals a lot through this game, and you're noticing that Noah is kind of handling it for the most part. He's not completely bagging verticals, but he is handling it. So that's just something else to kind of think about. Uh, right here, let's see what it is. 
Um, uh, yeah, I think he's. In, I think Henry's anticipating man, so they, he doesn't feel like he needs a clear out streak. Just Noah's also in a nickel over. He's showing a heavy man pressure, so I don't love this. But do notice one one other thing about Henry real quick. He's running a lot of short side bunch. So his bunch receivers are almost always to the short side of the field. So you see here, here's a heavy pressure. And the C route right there, he's going to try to throw this. This guy's standing wide open. Um, but again, this is where Noah's user's at. And his post kind of freezes on him. He ends up getting a, a knockout. And this is a great example of how pressure... When you're getting pressure, Noah's setting pressure a lot. It's causing Henry to struggle with his reads a little bit. Not, he's not missing them like wholesale, but he's definitely not like super sharp with his reads, in my opinion. At least, at least, or you know, not every play. He's had some really good dots, and then he's had some where he's just kind of missing little things, which again we all would. Here he's going to get screamed at, and Noah run commits, and I think he thought, I think he really thought he was going to run the ball. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I don't know if it was a mistake or if he meant to. I do think he meant to, um, but I'm kind of surprised that he did that. So now Noah's just going to try to break a run. If Henry plays good run defense, he should be out of this. With pretty limited damage, right, out of the first quarter, missing a field goal, Noah going up by one possession, and now Henry's completely been able to flip this game back into his favor. Um, and we're, gonna, we're about to see one of the best second halves um, I think in Madden history, I think this, gonna, this game is going to come down to the wire, uh, and you'll see that in the in the second half here. But again, Noah just trying to trying to break a run, 0-1 trap, not there. See if he calls timeout, runs one more time. Uh, you know, again, Noah's one thing you have to say here: the only thing that Noah's done to beat himself in this game is the run commit. So the one risk that Noah's really taken cost him. Um, you know. So, anyway, here's inside zone, trying to make something happen, but not going to happen. So, let's get into the third quarter. Noah's ball. Henry's going to, is he going to a 30-yard zone drop? I think he is. So, here we go, back into the run game, ground and pound. Noah trying to find a run. Now we're an eye wing, stretch. Gets decent yardage. But, again, you notice, like, Noah is playing. It's really interesting. Like, he has, he's throwing the ball, like, couple times and I'm not quite sure if I, I think it's too early for Noah to abandon the run so you're noticing he is going consistently back to it here trying to find a run here's inside zone split and eh. and honestly I'm kind of so he had to have labbed for this defense because obviously a majority of people are going to run nickel over if you're going to run the ball on them so just kind of interesting some of the just kind of some of the runs that he specifically chose uh, but anyway here this right here is crazy so um, <laughs> okay, so he's got bench. He's got, so in, in this, this play right here. So you've got a slant here and a slant here. So, and then he's got this corner out. So it's basically, who is Henry user? And I'm going to throw to the other guy. You know, block seven, two slants, and somehow circle just cooks. And all of a sudden, what seemed like a big advantage for Henry is now we've got a ball game. One big play from Noah. One big stop, and we know that this game can completely shift. Uh, and so you're going to see that in this third quarter, this back and forth between, I believe, two of the two best players in the world right now, at least from their statistics and their pedigree on the MCS stage. Um, you know, able to able to find a play, find a dot on third and 11. You know, talk about a clutch factor. Um, you know, knows the blitz is coming. Max protects it. Hits a wide open slant. Really great job by him. Henry trying to just kind of manage a little bit here. Get the get the clock moving and get the ball on a hash mark. Henry at this point, I think mentally, he feels like he is going to blow, not blow Noah out, but he feels very, I think he feels a significant advantage. He knows if he makes a mistake, Noah's right back in the game. So he knows he can't make a mistake, but he does, I think, feels probably, has to feel like he's the better player at this point so far. He's looked better on both sides of the ball. Um... And so you're seeing kind of some counter stuff, just kind of like, let's see how he handles the counter. Let's kind of get the run going. Um, you know, kind of like, let's feel this out a little bit. Uh, and then we should start to see him just starting to cook up some lasers here in just a moment. 
again, there's this play right here that I don't quite get. I, I just don't, I, mm, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to hit this wheel, but he's getting so screamed at. Like, that's such a, I'm just, I'm kind of trying to figure out why he kept going to that play. Like, I think every time he's called that play, he's lost yards. I really do. I think every time he's called that play, he's lost yards. So I don't know if that's like a, let's show Noah this and make him have to account for it. Or he had something cooked up against cover two, maybe. Um, maybe had like a, a bomb against cover two with that. But this this bench switch play here, we should see. This is his, this is one of his go-to plays. Um, and you see here, I mean, again, it's, it's kind of interesting how... They run the, a lot of pros. Any good Madden player runs the same route combinations from different formations. So, like right here, you have a streak, you have a corner. Now this guy is on a motion over drag. When last time he was on a drag and he was on in route, but it's basically the same basic thing. Except now you can't match the sideline because he's in a quads formation. So corner, not there, not there, but seam streak and deep out zone KO for Noah. That was like a pinnacle of a really good kind of back and forth play uh, between these two guys. And now we have a third and 14. So third and 14, ball and 34. Henry, you know, the game is too early. We're too early on in this in the second half that this is a must convert. Um, but it's a big down. It's a big down, especially, again, because of how Noah's playing here. Gets screamed at, hits his running back who's wide open. I think he freeformed that, and I felt like, you know, I'm actually starting to learn about freeform. When you're getting blitzed like that and you have a wide-open player, you might just want to not freeform it because of stuff like that. And that's why I don't like freeform passing this year's game. That happens way too much, and um, I just, I hate that. I hate that about this game. That's probably one of my biggest. Freeform passing, I wish they never brought it into the game. Um, you know, people would disagree with me all day long, but when you're getting blitzed and you're trying to freeform a dot, it's really difficult. So, at the highest level of Madden, you just saw a free form cause him. Um, you know, it, it, it could have been a first down, could have been fourth and three, fourth and two, completely different situation than fourth and fourteen. So, you know, again, that's that's just one of the reasons why I personally am, am not really a big fan of free form. Uh, but you you kind of have to use it because um, it's really hard to throw without using free form. Um, you know, I've tried both this year. I've honestly had more success without freeform. I will be honest with you. Um, maybe that's just because I'm that bad, but at, at freeforming. But I personally find more success without it. But obviously, you know, I think it's the more you, more reps you get with it, the more you learn it, the more time you put into it, the better you're going to get at it. So this is the first tournament of the year. By the end of the year, we'll probably see people really good with freeform. So Noah, again, trying to find a run. He got a good run there on first down, second and two, stretch. He keeps going to stretch. He's gotten like one yard, if that, every time, I think, on stretch. Stretch has not been the run, so I'm kind of surprised he keeps going back to it. Noah, Noah is searching for the run, but he's also, it's, it's interesting, I don't know why he's doing this, uh, but he keeps going back to runs that aren't working too. Uh, we saw him go to that strong coast inside split. We see him going to this i form wing stretch a ton. Um, you know, third and inches, I think he's going to go back to the I-form wing. Maybe he's thinking, like, if I need one yard, this is a great run call. Um, so here he goes, stretch left, and gets his one yard again. So, you know, again, it's kind of interesting. Um, surprised he didn't go to deuce close, ace close. I think he might go in here, but, yeah. O one one trap has been a decent run for him so far. But we'll see what he does here. Counter from Trips has been a decent run. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen more inside zone trying to get out here because he's obviously, Henry's obviously shifting these dudes. Um, so let's see if he checks in the inside zone here. I think he might. Yep, here's inside zone. And you see there, five, six yards. Actually got nine out of that, nine yard gain out of that. And you're seeing he's just working down. Now Noah, I think mentally is thinking, if I can get three, if I can get three on this drive, he, I think he feels confident in his defense to win him the game. Noah wants to win the game on defense. Okay, he's kind of reminds me of how Problem uh, Wright was playing in the uh, like 2017, 2018, 2016 time frame, like trying to run the ball and play good defense here. There's stretch right, got his one yard yet again. And again, I think the last four times we've seen I form wing stretch, he's gotten one yard. 
but it's been the one yard that he needed to get the first down. So, you know, just kind of the – he's also, I think, maybe to a degree not trying to zero in on one run because maybe then Henry over commits to that run. And it's just kind of interesting to see these guys go back and forth. Um, and Noah's game management is second to none. Uh, you're seeing him literally manage his way to a potential lead. He has not looked good at all on offense, and yet here he is in position – to take a lead it's a great lesson for how to play somebody who is who is who is maybe better than you maybe more dominant on offense he's playing keep away from henry and it's working pretty well that was probably his best stretch of the game got two yards out of that um and again i think he's trying to one of the other things you have to understand is to a degree he's trying not to get too many yards because the more clock he can take the better, but if you watch here, let me see when he's snapping this ball. Pay attention to when he snaps the ball. So you see how much clock he's taken. Base, been one of his better runs. He needs to get down a little bit sooner there once he got that first. But now he's in field goal range, and now he literally, it's literally a battle to take away as much clock as possible and kick three and get back on defense. I really think mentally that's got to be what he's thinking here. So, he the ball will not be in the air. It shouldn't be in the air on first and second down. It should only be in the air if it absolutely has to be. He should snap this at one second every time. I'm not sure if he's going to. Um, I think on this play, yep, see four seconds. And again, it's a little thing. You know, maybe maybe he's thinking, well, if I wait till one second, then Henry is going to be able to shoot the gap better because he's going to know what I'm snapping. I don't know, but I'm just saying these are like little bitty things that if you're going to play this way, a game management game, obviously he's taking it down to four seconds, which is great, but let's just take it down to one. Let's just let's just take this sucker all the way down to one every single time. Um, so just kind of interesting here. There's a ter eh, not a terrible call, but terrible result for him. I don't know. Uh, I would have liked to maybe see an 0-1 trap. I think a 0-1 trap has been better. I think it's been the better run uh, out of everything that he's done here. I think that Noah is in Green Bay. So here we got the same route combo that he called for the touchdown is what you're about to see. Slant, uh, slant, and then corner. So Henry does a great job here. He likes to do this where he like drops defensive linemen. Um, so like, cause he knows Noah has threat detector. So he knows Noah sees who's blitzing. So he's thinking, well, if I drop this guy here and I can maybe like get you to think I'm blitzing, but I'm really not. So if he dropped the DN, he dropped this guy. So really only rushing four. I don't know if he should. I, I kind of almost, my knee jerk answer, and I think he should have blitzed him. But anyway, he is going to take that slant because he sees this is covered. He's got a lot of zones over here. And Noah will step up. Does a great job of managing the pocket. At this point, Noah's thinking if I can get to here, it could be an interesting fourth down. Defensive tackles, big Sam Adams, I think the best one of the better players in the game, um, does his job. And now 17-14, providing he makes this kick. But again, watch this little thing. So when you hold this right here, um, it, it, it kicks the ball right there or at four. So he was not going to be able to take the clock all the way down as much as he could have. So those are just little things that could be under a two-minute. The point of being... Henry could be getting this ball back after the two-minute warning. It doesn't change a ton in the big picture, uh, but it definitely, again, you're playing a game management style. Maybe Noah was thinking, I want a chance to get the ball back, um, you know, and, and maybe providing more clock stoppages would be better. I'm not sure, but just kind of interesting. The, the little pieces of game management I find very fascinating, um, you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a highly competitive game like this. Uh, Henry, uh, I mean, yeah, it was open, but man, that's, eh. we'll see. He should go to mesh post a lot on this drive. That's been his best play. Uh, mesh post has been his best play. Uh, notice that clear out FLN has not been his best play. He's maybe called that twice. And really, if you're going to run Washington, that's kind of why you run that playbook. So just kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's see what he goes to here. This is his verticals again and watch. So we've got a streak here. We got a crosser, we got a wheel, and then this guy normally is either going to be on a streak or typically more more typically is a drag, and the blocks running back. So watch how this plays out. Oh, we're going to take it to the two minute warning. 
Now Henry's got to be thinking like get field goal range and then go from and then from there go win the game. Uh, his first priority is going to be got to be getting field goal range, make sure the clock is gone. Um, so here's counter. Eh. You know I think he called that just to get the clock moving, but it did put him in the middle of the field I believe, which is not a as a passer you really never want to be in the middle of the field. You want to be on a hash, just because the the it's harder to it doesn't work as well if you're not. Ah, see, I mean, yeah, like, ah, he got a crazy, like, that ends up being one of his best plays. Isn't it interesting that one of his best plays is a check down to the back? So let's break this down. So, again, like, watch, watch, well, let's just watch Moss. I'm just not seeing what he's seen on this play. So, Noah looks like he might, eh, I don't even know what he's in here. This match? Yeah, I think it, I don't know what it is, honestly. This might be cover six, but I don't know. Anyways, the point being, he only sends four, um, which didn't do terrible, but the only thing Henry can throw is this. The only thing Henry can throw is this. And he's looking for this guy over the top, because I think he thinks it's a match, and it may be very well the match. But this guy's got him. He can't throw it. So at this point, he's getting shedded. He's got to get the ball out. This is the only thing he's got. And he ends up throwing it, making a guy miss, and gets a huge, huge play out of this. Huge play. So now this completely changes his play calling because now he's playing. It maybe not completely changes it because he probably was already playing to win. But now he's really playing to, like, let's see if I can get seven. Like, let's see if I can get seven. I'm in field goal range. I got three in my back pocket. What he can't do is he can't take a sack. Okay, you really don't want to take a sack here. Let's run base. Let's kind of secure the field goal so he gets a little bit more yards. Now if he takes a sack, it's not as big of a deal. The clock continues to tick. Um, and Noah's got to start to think about when am I going to use these timeouts. Here's a quick snap. Got sh screamed at. Um, I think that was just bunch trail, drag the slot, or drag the solo receiver, wheel the back, or, or even maybe just wheel the back at a bunch trail. Um so we'll see here. This is mesh post. So we're finally getting back to mesh post. And again, this has been the best play for him all game, I think, honestly. So we'll see what happens here. Should be a good dot. C route, touchdown, or right there. Huge play. Now, if you're Noah, you want him to score. Why? Well, I don't know. It's kind of a tricky spot this year because you can actually get stops on the goal line this year. But ideally, if Henry's going to score, you want him to score so you want to get the ball back. Uh, to have a chance at, at getting seven. So if you're Noah, you're going to... Now, he goes to this goal line defense, which is actually very interesting. I haven't seen this. Most people in the commit, myself included, run the 5-3. He's going to come out in the 60. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six D linemen. And then you should you would think that QB sneak should be wide open here. We'll see if it happens or not. And it does. Wide open QB sneak, touchdown. Maybe Noah was trying to get him to, to score. I don't know. But my opinion, I would be in 5-3 trying to trying to cook up a, a bag up here. Um, you know, but again, the timeouts. I don't know why. Hold on a second. I need to break this down. Is that where he calls the timeout? So watch this right here. This is really important. So here's second and five. There's a game management, another game management issue in this game. So if you watch, Henry's gonna go the quick snap. He gets sacked. Now, right here, Noah should call a timeout. He does. So Noah's thinking, if I can get off the field, hold him to three, that's why he calls that timeout right there. Okay? So that's just something I, I didn't cover that in the moment. So I wanted to kind of come back around and show that. And now Noah has 45, 44 seconds, two timeouts, and he's going to try to go make a play. You know, that's basically what we're about to see. Um, obviously, I think Noah, you know, one of the most clutch players we've ever seen. Uh, you know, Henry has become very clutch. Um, and so uh, it's going to be a great little drive here. Just kind of a back and forth. But now Noah has to pass. He can't run the ball every play. He has to pass. And now Henry's got to be licking his chops. So if you notice, Henry's going to blitz the living daylights out of him. I think he sent six right there. He's going to start to blitz Noah and see how Noah handles it because Noah has to pass. So you should see Henry blitzing almost every play. Um, now this is crazy. Uh, right there, Henry's defense got messed up. 
So now not only does he not have any pressure, but he has the wheel route wide open for a huge gain. And that's that was crazy. And again, Noah audibly and around, mixing up your, de your defense. Uh, really does show, you know, really, really good results in this. Uh, so right here you see him using a check and release feature um, and then to see here but you know back to the same play uh, now you know again he's out of timeouts at this point and he's got 30 seconds and at this point if he gets tackled in balance he's got a quick snap so he goes to deep corner he said I think he's in Green Bay um, he's got the corner out but he's under pressure can't get the ball off and I mean, he's had stuff. He's got open stuff, you know. He's got open stuff. So he has to have the time to hit it. And again, you're seeing Henry's blitzing every. I mean, he's blitzing almost every play now. He is coming because if he gets a sack, like it, it, the clock's gonna tick, you know. So here he's got the slant, hits him really great free form. I thought at this point it was a, a yeah, like right here, eh, like I don't know. He had to have th thought Noah in this spot here has to think. That he's gonna get tackled by the first player, but man, this is like a, such a big mistake. Like, you'll see right here. So right at this point, so like right here, free form, great. So I think at this point he thinks he's gonna get dive tackled right here. So he literally, if he runs like diagonal, this he could at least be at like the five yard line right here. He misses, it. and that's why see how, see how he's thinking he's gonna get tackled there. Yeah, like you know, and it was part of, partially really good stick by Henry to make him go out of bounds. Because if he doesn't go out of bounds, he might very well get tackled there uh, just by the angle that Henry took with his tackle angle. So, you know, really good, really, really, really interesting, really good job by both parties there, I think. But that was such a tough spot. Um, so here again, sending everybody, sending everybody. He sent seven. He sent seven at Noah. He sent seven at Noah. Okay? He blitzed the corner off the edge, like, um, on the motion block. Now and so now you see again Noah's trying to find that play, second and second and ten. Now I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to spread him out a little bit here. Uh, motion in motion the cross slant, slant crosser. Henry actually bails out into drop eight. Gets the great edge threat animations off the outside. Noah has to throw the ball away. Third and ten. Ball on the eleven. Fifteen seconds left. Noah comes out, tight offset, tight in. Henry's blitzing everybody. And you know for the bread, Henry is going to blitz because if he can tackle Noah inbounds, he feels like he's got a chance to win. Whether it's a sack, whether he tackles, he sends the corner off the edge, sends seven. Slant across the middle, not able to break the tackle, and that is how he loses. Crazy game, all-time great game. Both players Really, really, really good performance. Such a back and forth battle. Wanted to break this one down for you guys. If you enjoyed these breakdowns, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to check out the ebooks, make sure you take the Patreon. Uh, that is how Henry won his fourth belt, third individual belt, and I believe cemented his legacy as of right now as not only the best Madden player today, but definitely the best Madden player in the MCS era and potentially the best Madden player of all time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out more of the videos on the channel. We offer tips and tricks, how to get better at the game, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.